All right, folks, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial how to use your refrigerant recharge kit. As you see, this is a little hose that's included with a gauge. Now, if, now this is the end of the hose that you attach to the vehicle. You need to pull back on this little collar to snap it on and then let it go and push and lock it into place. It'll stay on there. Okay, if you have an old R12 car, you'll need to screw this little adapter fitting on the threaded service port on your vehicle. Okay, this little hose is not going to fit the R12 threaded thing. You need to put this adapter on first. Okay, real quick on the refrigerants. If you bought the big, big cans, 8 ounce cans, these are equal to 20, 21 ounces of 134 or approximately 24 ounces of R12. All of this stuff is compatible for both kinds of systems, whether it be an old car or a new car. So the big can, if it's an R12 system, up to 24 ounces, all right? The standard six ounce can here, this replaces 16 ounces of R134 or 18 ounces of R12 equivalent. The stop leaks are actually a four ounce can and you're going to get an ounce of stop leak and three ounces of refrigerant in this can equals nine ounces of R12. Same thing with oil charge here. One ounce of ester oil and the rest of the can is refrigerant equivalent to nine ounces of R12 refrigerant. All right, we're working on my 2001 Sonoma truck and this system uses almost two pounds. I think it's one pound and 12 ounces. So we're going to test the pressure before we begin. And as I noted before, you want to make sure the little needle is screwed all the way backwards. Turn this to the left so the needle is not going to puncture the can when you screw it on the bottle at first. Okay? Because we're just testing the pressure. Now you're going to pull back on your little collar sleeve here and pop it on here. Sometimes you have to push really hard. This one will seem to go on very easily. And with the motor off, look, we have about 70 PSI, which tells me, of course, it's not empty. But normally it'll be about 90 or 100 if it's full at this point. Now, if you hook to your car and the needle's all the way on zero, which means it's dead empty, I would highly recommend adding the first can with the engine off and the compressor. So you could look and listen for any large noticeable leaks. If the engine's running, you can't hear it leak. And you just may put all three cans of your refrigerant and it'll all leak out on you really quick and you're not going to be too happy about that. So that's the best way to find a big leak. Otherwise than that, every car leaks a little bit over the years. There's not much you can do about that. but. Okay, anyways, we're going to start the engine. I'm going to put the AC on, on, turn the fan on high, and max air. And we're going to watch this needle is going to go down while the compressor is pumping. Let's do it. Compressor is going on and then off. When it dips down out of the blue down there, your low pressure signal switch will shut the whole system down. Otherwise, it's going to run and wear out your compressor with no free on in it. So, what we're going to do, this is the can. I think this is going to be just the right amount, and we're going to install this can now. Okay, to puncture the can, you want to turn this in all the way and puncture the can. Keep your eye on the gauge there. And now we're going to let the refrigerant out of the can and turn the valve backwards. Okay. 
The needle's gonna go way, way up because you're reading the pressure in the can. See that? And when the compressor goes back on, it's gonna go back down. So I'm gonna empty this whole can. If you're getting close to being full, you could turn the can off and turn the can back on again, and continuously checking the pressure. You don't want to overfill your system, okay? And it comes out of the can really fast. So this, this can is almost empty already, and look, we're up at 45 PSI. And you need to hold the cans upside down with this type of refrigerant also. Okay, the can's empty. We're holding about 35-ish. And it's only about 70 degrees outside, which I think is perfect. I'm going to close the can up again. Turn the little needle in. We're going to look at the pressure there, okay, and you see the compressor staying on full time, and that's what you want, okay? It's not going on and off and on and off. So I think we're perfect. And then also you could touch your receiver dryer or the aluminum lines going on your low side and feel how cold they are. And this is freezing cold right now, so I think we're good to go. So that's the basics of how to install the refrigerant. Make sure you read the instruction paper included. And also you may call me if you need any help. I'm a full-time AC technician. I offer tech support over the phone for all my customers. All right, thank you very much. Good luck.